Chrysler is sponsoring a pay-per-view event during halftime of the Super Bowl yeah. where models dressed in lingerie will play seven-on-seven -seven tackle football. Is this, uh, is this exploitation or entertainment, Gray? Well, you know, it's, what, bo it's both, but you know who the head coach is? Who? Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a black crack addict and a bunch of women in lingerie. Why don't we get Mike Tyson as the offensive coordinator? We can start pressing charges right now. But, <laughs> you know, the well, they, they said that it's. They said people are saying it's offensive. It was Chrysler sponsoring this as an advertising gimmick, and they're saying it's offensive. How can it be offensive? I mean, have you have you seen any of the other Chrysler ads? You know, they they could spray these girls with napalm, and it wouldn't be nearly as offensive as cramming Celine Dion down our throats right. every three minutes. Well, and also, do you know who the other coach is? Eric Dickerson. So the National Lingerie League has a hundred percent minority head coaches, which is a lot better than the NFL. <laughs> so you will not find Jesse. The Jackson lingerie protesting. league. But so you won't find Jesse Jackson protesting it this game. It costs twenty bucks to look at this. That's right. And you have to wait till the Colts finish scoring before you can see it. Porn is like eight ninety five. And it's a three hour block. There's no pressure of oh, I've only got twenty minutes, I gotta hurry. And then they cut to LT's face and it's like, ugh, and, and then if, you gotta start over. I'm gonna tell you this much. This show's getting too lowbrow and too sexual. We're going to commercial. Why do you guys play with a pig stain on the break? No.